this is my second example of series parallel circuit see i have to find the equivalent resistance with respect to this a and b terminal and this is the circuit see this circuit contains total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 resistor as i have to find the equivalent resistance that means i will minimize all these nine resistor into a single resistor and that resistance will be known as rab to solve this kind of a structure i will proceed with my point method c as this is our point a i cannot go further as this is our point b i cannot go further let's say this is our point c or this junction is our point c this junction is our point d i cannot go in this direction or in this direction because i am encountering resistors L so let's say this is our point e as i am going along a same wire so this will be our point e as i am moving along a same wire this will be our point e and this will be our point e i cannot go in this direction or in this direction because i will encounter resistors S let's say this is our point f now if you look at the resistance of 10 ohm you will see that 10 ohm resistor is connected across a short circuit in parallel therefore there will be no current flow through this 10 ohm resistor that means i can disconnect or i can discard this 10 ohm resistor from our circuit to simplify this circuit let me draw out my points here let's say this is our a point this is our c point this is our f a c f in here i have b d and e now see if i want to go from a to c i will encounter a resistance of 5 ohm now if i want to go from b to d i will encounter a resistance of 15 ohm sorry this is our a this is our c point this is our f this is our b point this is our d point and this is our e point and now if i want to go from b to d i will get a resistance of 15 ohm now if i want to go from c to d I will get a resistance of 25 ohm now if I want to go from C to F I will encounter this 20 ohm resistor now if I want to go from C to E I will encounter a resistance of 30 ohm C to E 30 ohm resistor see this is our C point this is our E point so I am going from C to E and I am encountering a resistance of 30 ohm now if I want to go from D to E I will encounter a resistance of 10 ohm now if i want to go from e to f e to f i will encounter a resistance of 60 ohm see between e to f i have a resistance of 60 ohm see between this f to e i have another resistor of 12 ohm I have another resistance of 12 ohm I have to calculate the resistance between this A and B terminal so if I simplify this circuit structure our circuit will look like this now it will be convenient for us if we apply series parallel circuit method to solve this circuit if I show you a neat sketch our circuit will look like this okay so let's say this is our first simplification of the circuit see this is the neat sketch of our simplified circuit
now look at terminal F and E you will see we have two resistors 60 ohm and 12 ohm are connected in parallel that means I can reduce these two resistances into a single resistor and I will calculate that resistor using let's say that is our R equivalent 1 R equivalent 1 will be equal to 12 into 60 divided by 12 plus 60 which will be equal to 10 ohm there, therefore I will get our second simplification of the circuit here I have used this formula when we have two resistors R1 and R2 connected in parallel our total resistance or equivalent resistance RT will be equal to R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 now look at our C terminal and E terminal you will see with respect to this C and E terminal this 10 ohm and this 20 ohm resistances are connected in series that means this CE branch has a resistance of 20 plus 10 equal to 30 ohm that means if I replace the total resistance of this branch with a let's say 30 ohm after replacing the 20 and 10 ohm series resistance with 30 ohm you will see across C and E terminal I have two resistances of 30 ohm connected in parallel when two resistors are connected in parallel their equivalent resistance let's say R equivalent 2 will be equal to the half of this resistive value therefore I will get a resistance of 15 ohm and that will be connected across the C and E terminal okay C between C and E terminal I have replaced this 630 ohm and this 30 ohm resistance with a resistance of 15 ohm now if you look at the terminal C and D you will see in this branch C D E branch this C D E branch has two resistors connected in series 10 ohm and 15 ohm which will be equal to that means this branch will have a resistance of let's say I, I have removed this and replaced this 20 and replaced this branch resistance with 25 therefore between the C and D you will see we have two resistance of 25 ohm connected in parallel so when two resistance of 25 ohm connected in parallel you will see uh, its equivalent circuit will be equal to 25 divided by 2 equal to 12.5 ohm therefore in the in my last circuit you will see I will get a circuit like this back to this A and B terminal this was our C terminal and this was our D terminal so R A B will be the series connection of 5 ohm to 12.5 and this 15 ohm so R A B is the 5 plus 12.5 plus 15 which will be equal to 32.5 ohm now let me run a simulation to show the validity of my circuit analysis if I run the simulation you will see our ohmmeter is showing a, re a reading of 32.5 ohm okay that's it thank you